Open the Country Highlights template. This project can only be controlled by using its script. Go to File, Scripts, Run Script File, and choose the Country Highlights JSX file. You can scroll the countries list to select the country you want to highlight, or simply type the name of the country in the search field. After selecting the country, you can set the transition in that represents the revealing mode, the effect applied to the country when it is highlighted, the transition out. The country color sets the color of the highlight. When you finally enable the Add Pin to Selected Country checkbox, the script will place a pin near to the selected country. Use the Color button to set the pin color. Let's assume you want to highlight Brazil. Just type the country name in the search box. Choose a transition in, for example, Venetian blinds. Set a country effect, let's say pulse, and fade out for the transition out. Now you can set the country color and also place a pin. If you choose the Add Country Highlight, the effect will start from where the time indicator currently is. So for example, if you want to highlight Brazil after 3 seconds, you just need to move the time indicator to 3 seconds. All effects applied to the countries are dependent on the in and out points of the layer. In other words, if you stretch the layers to increase or decrease their duration, the transition in and transition out will start accordingly to the in and out points. Now if you have to highlight several countries keeping the same settings, the game is easy. Just select your countries and press the Add button. The pin will be placed in the center of the country, but due to the country's shape, it could be not so precise position. So just move it manually to adjust it. If you want to resize it, just modify its scale value. Keep in mind that the script doesn't modify already created country layers. For example, you highlighted a country without adding in and out effects, and then you changed your mind, and now you'd like to add them. You can't do it. In this case, you have to remove the country layer first, then create a new one with the correct settings. This template also includes a layer called Controls that allows you to set the effects and other properties. In this layer, you'll find an effect called Country Highlights, where you can modify the effects parameters according to your needs. Just remember that these settings will affect the behavior of the effects on all layers on which they are applied. Of course, you can choose the colors of the vector map, or if you prefer, you can switch to the satellite map. Last but not least, you can also animate your map. Use the scale and position properties of the map scale position and create your keyframes to move and resize the map. 